What's the one thing we all can't do without? Yup, it's sleep. The process of sleeping is important to our well-being. And it's super complicated. Science is doing its best to find out what happens to our body and brain during sleep and what influences it in a positive or negative way. Thanks to these attempts, some well-known sleep myths have been debunked. Number 11. Sleep is a passive activity. Well, what else can it be if you're simply doing nothing during sleep, right? But you're totally wrong here. Even though you remain still and inactive at night, there are numerous vital processes going on that you're not even aware of. First off, your brain is pretty busy while you're watching dreams. It consolidates all the information it's received during the day and files it away for later use, creating long-term memories. Also, your endocrine system releases a number of hormones during sleep, all with different purposes. For example, the pineal gland produces melatonin, which controls your sleep patterns. Its levels increase at night, and this is what makes you sleepy. And your pituitary gland releases the growth hormone, which makes your body grow and repair itself. Number 10. You can't sleep with your eyes open. Have you ever woken up and found that your eyes are much more sore and dry than usual? Well, I don't want to scare you, but it might be a sign that you slept with your eyes open. This actually happens to people who suffer from a condition called nocturnal lagophthalmosis. These people sleep with their eyes fully or partially open, since their eyelids are unable to close completely. This is a case of facial paralysis, which can be caused by many factors, including infection, stroke, surgery, trauma, or Bell's palsy. Sometimes the inability to close your eyes while you snooze can be treated by simply wearing an eye mask to bed. However, in more complicated cases, a person needs surgery because sleeping with their eyes open can affect their quality of sleep and damage their cornea. And this may lead to vision problems. Hmm, I wonder if people with such a condition have ever slept at their workplace. Their boss probably didn't even notice. Number 9. The moon's phases affect our sleep. It's quite a common belief that a full moon makes us sleepless, but is it really so? Many studies have been carried out in an attempt to learn the truth, and the results turn out to be contradictory. Research by scientists at Basel University in Switzerland suggests that people actually sleep less during the full moon phase. It takes them longer to fall asleep, and they sleep less deeply. On top of that, the volunteers who took part in this study didn't even see the moon since they slept in rooms where the curtains were closed and they weren't aware of the current lunar phase. But the findings of this study aren't all that convincing because the number of volunteers was only 33. That's why researchers from the Max Planck Institute of Psychiatry decided to analyze the sleep of more people, around 1,265. They couldn't find any significant correlation between the lunar cycle and sleep. So, hey, don't blame it on the moon. Number 8. Snoring is not a big deal. Didn't get enough sleep because your roommate was snoring all night long? Yeah, people usually look upon snoring as a little inconvenience that wakes them up during the night. If it doesn't happen often, such incidents become a source of friendly jokes. But chronic and loud snoring can be a sign of health problems. If you suffer from snoring, it might be a symptom of obstructive sleep apnea (OSA). When you have OSA, your airways become blocked, and you experience breathing pauses during nighttime rest. Your body will jolt awake when it realizes you aren't breathing. OSA not only affects your sleep quality, but can lead to high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, heart attack, and stroke. So if your roommate keeps waking you up with their nighttime noises, send them to a doctor. Number 7. Watching TV or playing on your smartphone helps you fall asleep. Dozing off while watching your favorite TV show or scrolling social media on your phone? Well, it's a good idea for you to reconsider your routine for falling asleep. All gadgets we use emit blue light that suppresses the secretion of melatonin, a hormone that makes us sleepy. That's why it takes you longer to fall asleep, and as a result, you get less sleep than you could. Scientists even created a name for such behavior, bedtime procrastination. This is when you willingly postpone drifting into the dream world without any real necessity. Sleep experts recommend turning off all gadgets one hour before bedtime. It's much better to spend this time reading a book or doing some yoga, which will help your body to relax. Why rob yourself of precious Z's, right? 
Number 6. Naps during the day are bad for productivity. Daytime naps are usually viewed as something negative because people feel groggy after taking them. In addition, they mess with your sleep schedule. But sometimes, when you can't fight the urge to nap because of tiredness, it's better to give in. Well, when you can afford it, of course. Your boss might not appreciate you sleeping at your desk. A study conducted at Flinders University in Australia proved that mini naps, as short as 7 to 10 minutes, can boost alertness and help your brain function better. Long live power naps. But keep in mind that it's better to snooze in the early afternoon than later on. This way, you'll decrease the chances of your spontaneous short rest cutting into your nighttime sleep. Number 5. You should never wake a sleepwalker. We've all heard the legends that trying to wake a sleepwalker is really dangerous and can cause a coma, brain damage, or even a heart attack. In truth, it's highly unlikely that anything of this kind will happen if you wake a sleepwalker. Still, you may encounter another problem in such a situation. It's super hard to rouse people who are sleepwalking. The best thing you can do is gently guide them back to bed. If it's hard to do this, wake the sleepwalker with a loud noise. Be sure to stand at a distance, since they may react violently to being awakened. Number 4. You should have no less than 8 hours of sleep a day. The truth is that the amount of sleep we need varies from person to person, and from 6 to 9 hours. Some get by on a little less sleep. Some require more sleep to feel refreshed in the morning. A good way to find out how many hours of sleep you need is to conduct a little experiment. Go to bed only when you feel tired, and wake up without an alarm for one week. At the end of the week, you'll be able to estimate the amount of slumber that works best for you. By the way, scientific studies revealed that the mortality rate increases for those who either don't get enough sleep or oversleep on a regular basis. And this brings me to the next myth. Number 3. Not getting enough sleep means only feeling tired. Had to stay up late to finish an important project for work? While it's great that you've finished it before the deadline, depriving yourself of sleep should never turn into a habit, because it can be harmful to your health. Sleep deprivation seriously affects your cognitive performance, making it hard for you to be focused and creative. Science has linked poor sleep to all kinds of health problems, including depression, anxiety, and weight gain. What's more, a lack of rest can increase the risks for high blood pressure and diabetes. And if that's not enough, too little sleep also weakens your immune system's defenses against the common cold and flu. Number 2. Early risers do better in life than night owls. Most people are divided into two types, early risers, larks, and late risers, night owls. It's commonly believed that early risers are more productive, hardworking, and proactive. And thanks to these qualities, they achieve much more in life than those who like to sleep in. But according to research published in the British Medical Journal, your health and success have nothing to do with the time you wake up. Night owls are equal to morning types. Moreover, late risers might even be a bit wealthier. Besides, whether you're a night owl or a lark is determined by your chronotype, which is genetic. Number 1. Hitting the snooze button is harmless. I just need 5 more minutes. That's probably what you think when you hit the snooze button on your alarm and decide to spend a bit more time in bed. But getting those 5 minutes may do you a disservice. When you delay getting up, you drift into a sleep cycle again. But a sleep cycle usually lasts from 75 to 90 minutes. When a second alarm goes off and interrupts it, you're more likely to feel tired and groggy because your brain is trapped in this new sleep cycle and refuses to function at its best. So put your smartphone in another room, and this will help you avoid the temptation of sleeping in. What other myths about sleep do you know? Share them in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.